Definitely. So yeah. uh, when you hung your pads up for the last times and your well, for the last time and your cleats up, how have you applied those trials and tribulations to your personal life? Well, uh, to be you know, to be honest with you, man, it, it it took me a minute to it took me a minute to you know to kind of get over the realization of not being able to play anymore. Uh, you know, you know, it, it, it didn't happen overnight. It happened over you know span of years where you know I had to become comfortable with just a normal lifestyle and, and, and uh, just being you know uh, a normal person and. and uh, you know, it was difficult at first because we missed, you know, we missed playing the game of football. That's, 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 you know, that's a game, you know, I loved football. I, I, I kind of knew everything about it. And uh, it, it was a big part of my life, man. And for me to, to retire from that, you know, I, I wish I could have played forever, but you can't do it. And uh, so, it, you know, with time, it just got better. And, 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 you know, and then you, you just realize that, you know, hey, you got to, you know, accept what you did, and, you know, the years you played and, and remember the good things that happened and and just remember that, hey, man, you played in the NFL for 11 years. Everybody don't get a chance to do that. Definitely. Hey, it's a blessing to go over three. Isn't that three and a half is the the yeah. average, right? Yeah, I think I think. If I ain't mistaken, I think they cut it down to maybe three now, just something like that. I'm not sure. I, I, you know, the league has changed so much now. So, uh, uh, you know, I, I I try to follow them as much as possible. I think it's three. I, it's, it was three and a half. You had, had to pay three, three years and three games into your fourth season. Yes, sir. So yeah. my last question for you is 2021 Bills related. What are your thoughts on the Josh Allen contract that they gave him? Do you think they overpaid? Uh, hey, you one, know what? On one good season, too. Well, you know what? I, I think I think Josh Allen uh, uh, probably earned that for for the season, uh, the past season that he had. Uh, I mean, it's it's like, man, if you have a great season and you have a good year, and, uh, your contract, uh, you you know, I don't know if he was, did they just renegotiate or, or they offered him a new contract? Or they gave him contract? that big contract during the off season this year. Yeah, was he in the process of? Uh, uh, it was like his, It was like. Uh, you're correct on that. It was he was coming up to his uh, last couple of years of his rookie contract. Okay, and they wanted to lock him in before yeah. before it happened. Okay, so well, so well, look, so so what they did was they offered him such and such amount of money. They got him locked in now, and, and okay, let's just let's just say uh, he had a banner year this year. Man, they wouldn't, they, you know, the contract they would have had to pay him. Next year would have been even more than what he's getting now. I mean, you got to look at quarterbacks around the league, man, and the money they're making, man. He, he's right up there with them. And Josh Allen is a great quarterback. He has a strong arm. He's smart. He's a, he's a big guy. And uh, he can get the job done. So I think he's worth the money. He is, but there comes a time when you are selfless to the team, man. You take that big contract, it limits the guys that are around you. And Kansas City, them, a couple other teams are suffering. They're gonna, they're gonna suffer for that. You think that's? They, 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 you're right. You're right. They're gonna they're gonna suffer. They're gonna suffer down the road. Uh, you know, because the cap is gonna be too small, and they, they they're not gonna be able to, you know, to uh, afford a lot of guys, especially free agents. For sure. They're yeah. going to have to rely on their rookies a lot, a lot more. Guys are going to have to uh, show up. Uh, the ability of being a football player is going to have to come out. You know, if you consider yourself an, an NFL football player, then, uh, you know, it, it, especially younger guys now, 
Man, there, there's you, you got to have something special about you for the for the scouts to even come look at you. You know what I mean? They, sure. uh, I mean, you know, professional football is not easy, man. You got a lot of guys that are trying out. They, they you got free agents that come in. You got the draft choices. Everybody's fighting for a position. You know, the, the first and second round draft choices, they pretty much made the team just, just because they got drafted that high. But everybody else, you know, we, you know, we got to fight for a spot, man. And the way you do that is you go out there and, and you, you play the best you can and, and you study. You, you look at film and you go out there and, you, you know, you do what you do. And uh, even if it's on special teams, it doesn't matter what it is. You know, just do the best you can, man. Give it, give it your all. And, and, and if, if some for some reason uh, it don't work out, at least you you gave one hundred percent. You know what I mean? Definitely, and that's all that matters. If you give all that matters, that's right. That's right. A hundred plus percent, the effort is where it's at. 